let's go jump and look at that restart. Most of these guys realize this is the championship or not. They're going all out for this one. No holds barred. We need to get to the front. You have everybody that's competing for a championship all in the same shot. Everybody's pitted. You have enough fuel and tires to make it to the end. You got William Byron in the lead, the 22, back here, third row on the inside. Blaney, third row on the outside, and right behind him, Reddick. Unfortunately, Reddick kind of was in this position all day, just slightly behind the other guys, didn't play a huge factor. But we're actually going to see on this restart, he does play a little bit of a factor in the way the 12 gets going. One thing about restarts at Phoenix is they're wild and they're four and five wide coming through the dog leg. And when you get to turn one, the outside is actually the preferred because you can keep your momentum up to go down the back stretch, but the bottom gives you options. You can get cleaner air because you can just keep getting lower on the apron like you see here. When you get below this line, there's still grip down there, and you can spread out and get enough grip for a couple corners to where you can stay side by side uh, next to someone down the back stretch. Yeah, and I feel like you have two kind of options to be on the offense here. It's either going to be super low and cutting everybody in, going chasing clean air, or you want to be up here getting an arc to have a huge run down the back stretch. And you can see right here, the 12 is kind of trying to get that arc. He's trying to come up the track, and he actually makes a little bit of contact with the 45. You see the smoke coming off the cars. The 12 has to commit to the middle of the track, and I think all of this is going to be very important because as we play it forward going into turn one here, you can see the 12 and 22 are side by side. They both have this cut. One thing that their cars did incredibly well was right here through the center, cut down. They could cut down and get low drive exits that had a lot of momentum. They both do that, but the difference is the 22's in clean air and the 12's not. The thing that, that you also notice is they've got two Hendrick teammates and Tyler Reddick is right behind them and he can't get clean air on his nose. This is the mm -hmm. opportunity for Tyler Reddick to get some magic going late in the race to try to leap some of these guys to get some clean air on his nose to have a shot to win the championship. But it does give Joey Logano some clean air to get back to the apron and get a good run off and get right behind the 20 going down the back stretch. The 12 gets a good run, but the 22 is just going to get control right here because he has a great run down the back stretch. And another key moment, we're going to jump to another view. We can see right here the 20 car is actually off the bottom. We talk a lot about air blocking and taking somebody's lane. Let's jump on Joey's onboard and watch what happened here because this really allows him to take control. Yeah, right here, the 20 car is going side by side with the 24. And what you want if you're Joey Logano is the 20 to wash up and give you clean racetrack. We talked about how the 22 and the 12 wrap lines really well laid off the corner. And if you can wrap turn four really smoothly around here and stay on it all the way around, you can get a good launch and stay up next to somebody who's running the outside, gives you the ability to cut the dog leg and maybe get in front of them. But what you want is clean air on your nose. And Joey Logano is gifted that by Christopher Bell kind of missing the bottom. It looks like he chased it loose getting in the corner. He's able to wrap that line and clear him getting down into turn one. Next thing you know, Joey's the outright leader and it's, it's his race to lose at that point.